Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and the end of week one. Can you believe it's already been a week? Um, so thank you so much for joining me. I am going to give you a little bit of an update of what I've been up to and how the week went and what my plans are for the coming week. So overall, I'm really pleased with how this week turned out. I did pretty good on the movement aspect. So my goal was to do 20 minutes of walking a day, which I managed to do every day with the exception of Sunday. Sunday I've decided is going to be my rest day. Um, if I walk, that's great. If I don't, that's okay. Um, not a big deal. So I did do really well. And I just wanted to share with you some of the statistics from my uh, fitness tracker. Again, not that I'm measuring this as whether I've achieved something or not, but more as a way to measure um, improvement, right? So that I've actually made a progress. So if I look at my overall step count, so if I look at my overall step count for this week, so starting last Saturday up until today, and it's Friday at about 5.53, so the numbers might go up a little bit, but I've already done my walk, so um, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I reached a total of 26,850 steps for the week, which, okay, yes, it's not that impressive, but that's not the point. The point is, is that last week I only achieved 16,444. So that's 10,000 more steps than I would have walked previously. And if I look um, further back in time, that's what it was kind of hitting between 16 and 18,000 steps without intentionally doing any sort of walking. So I'm super thrilled with that. Um, it was hard. I'm not going to lie. I am extremely out of shape. I made improvements from not being able to walk without a break to being able to do so. So I'm uh, very, very happy with that progress, but there is still a ways to go. And so for this coming week, I'm gonna keep it at 20 minutes. I don't wanna make this harder than it already is because of course that just can lead to discouragement and then just stopping altogether. I had to laugh because the fitness monitor manages intensity minutes. And I, this just goes to prove to you that I'm not lying when I say I'm out of shape and that this is difficult. So I hit 225 um, intensity minutes this week just by walking. So anyways, that was just an interesting point. The other thing that I was pleased with um, over the last week was I was getting at least eight hours of sleep. So that is very good. Okay, how did the meals go? So I did my meal prep as I had indicated. I followed my meal plan and that worked great. I um, managed to not eat out all week with the exception of one night and that was Wednesday night which was date nights so we did go out for dinner we are able to dine here now um, so it was nice it was nice to go out and spend some time together and so so I would consider that a successful week I have actually already done my grocery shopping for this coming week so I'm gonna insert the clip in here so I could talk to you about what my meal plan is again very simple and show you what it is that I purchased. Okay, so here's my grocery haul for the week. My meal plan is going to be very simple. It is gonna be a taco soup for my main meal that I'm eating every day. Lunches are going to be a sandwich, probably with deli meat or eggs, and breakfast is gonna be overnight oats. The taco soup is a recipe that a friend sent me, so I have never tried it, um, but it does use a lot of canned items, which fits me perfectly because it's really just dump and go. So what did I all buy? I bought some tortilla chips for the soup. Now is this the healthiest thing out there? No. But again right now my focus is just on breaking the habit of eating out and trying to make some healthier choices. Everything does not have to be 100%. We can work on that over time. Along the same lines I did purchase some granola bars there's only six of them. I don't anticipate that I'm going to eat them every day, but I did find this past week that I had a few cravings for something a little bit sweet and it almost, it almost did me in. So I thought having those on hand might be helpful. I did buy in fresh fruit. I bought some cherries because how could you not? Some different broth. This is lime juice, almond milk for the overnight oats.
chicken thighs for the soup, bacon because, well, it's bacon. And then I did buy three cans of diced tomatoes, three cans of corn, two cans of black beans, two cans of kidney beans, two cans of pineapple, and one can of enchilada sauce. So what I do usually try to do is if I'm shopping for something in sp specific I buy, and I need a can, I buy an extra can for the shelf unless it's on sale and then I will buy two or more depending on how the sale is. That way I have a good stocked pantry and save a little money in the meantime. But I do only do that for things that I'm sure about because this is the first time I'm making this recipe. I don't know if I'm going to need more of these or not. So. So that is it. I will show you my meal prep when I get around to doing that. Okay, as for other things that I want to achieve this week, I am actually going to be working on tackling my environment, um, my apartment in other words. So living and working from home in sort of a temporary but not really temporary situation has just really made my place feel claustrophobic and I have to admit that it has gotten a little bit out of control. I've picked up some new hobbies along the way and I just need to figure out where stuff is going to fit. Um, I've been doing a big craft room um, reorganization and some of that stuff has migrated into uh, my dining room area. It just needs, it just needs some just needs some doing, right? <laughs> um, so I'm going to insert the clip here, what it is that I want to tackle this week. This is a much bigger project. I intend to fully go through my entire apartment and get rid of stuff. Um, while I don't think I would ever really become a minimalist, I would like to um, head more in that direction than I am currently in all areas except for my craft space. So those of you that follow me over on my crafting channel, know why that's not even an option. Okay, so here is the clip of what I hope to achieve this week in my apartment. I can't believe I'm showing this. <laughs> so in addition to my health related goals, I also need to take care of my physical space. And I'm warning you now, this is bad. So I'm blaming it all on COVID. My dining room table has become a dumping station and some of that is because I picked up another hobby, um, namely gardening. So I've got all seed packets and stuff there. I've got gardening tools here. Oh, this has become a staging area for the cleanup I'm doing in my craft space. Some of this has to go to Goodwill. Some of it I want to hold on until I finish doing the rest of my purge of my apartment, which is really what needs to be done. What else? I got more plant stuff up here. Uh, it, it's just out of control. Packages everywhere. I just need to deal with this. This is this is this week's goal. And then my living room. So you have to understand that I've been working from home since March of 2020. And so this is a new addition to my space. And it's really made my living room quite crowded. See, I do try and clean, <laughs> but <laughs> I have another computer here. I have a computer there, plus the one I just showed you, which was my work computer. Um, this almost looks like I'm running a business, but no, it's just, you know, stuff that I do personally with my craft room, etc. It's bad. So my goal for this week is to tidy this up as much as possible. For stuff like this where there's things in limbo, I have some empty boxes. I just want to containerize things, um, have it neat and organized so that when I'm ready to deal with it, I can pull from there. And this table has to be cleaned. I may not have a solution yet for um, what I'm going to do with all the gardening stuff, but at least put it in a basket so that, again, it's contained. This is so bad. I'm so embarrassed. Okay, you guys, I've got a lot set up for this week. I'd love to hear how things went for you this week. Did you hit your intentions? Are you pleased with your results? Did you struggle with something? What's your plan for the coming week? Leave the comments below. I'd love to connect with you and um, help encourage you along the way. Thanks again for joining me and 
it's time to go and do this.